It hasn't been a dream season for the Maple Leafs, but there have been some bright spots, like sophomore defenseman Morgan Riley. How you doing? Hey, is it? You feel those pipes checking me? Been working out. With yeah. steadily increased ice time throughout the year, he has demonstrated the potential that motivated the Leafs to pick him fifth overall in 2012. I think it's been a tough year just in terms of the ups and the downs. But I mean, personally, I think it's just a matter of just trying to be the best you can be. And I think that's also a huge part of being a good teammate. And you know, each day you have to come to work and you have to try to get better. And I think that's the most important thing. I'm kind of in a bad spot there, right. just because I didn't really give many options on myself. Yeah. You're a pro athlete and you know, that's your job. And you know, if you're not getting better, then you know, what's the point you have to try to keep improving over the course of the year and I think that at times you know we've been able to do that uh, you know as a group but you know again it's been tough just the way things have gone and um, you know hopefully we can uh, try to turn things around. Being a high draft pick doesn't guarantee you a free ride and Morgan was reminded of that on the 6th of November a few hours before the game in Denver against the Avalanche Riley was told that he would be a healthy scratch. As a pro athlete, you have to be, you know, able to handle that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, obviously you don't want it to happen, but you have to be prepared for it. And um, you, I mean, you just have to be better. I think I think that's what you have to take away from it. You have to just want to be better after that, and you know, use it as motivation. Good job. You know, playing in this league, there's always people that are trying to take your job, and I mean, you have to play well every night, and you have to, I think, have your own motivation, and you know, you kind of have to turn things around and say, uh, you know, I'm going to be better. Learning more about the game and learning how to be a professional are not mutually exclusive endeavors. One of the truest tests of a professional is how they bounce back from adversity and embrace it as a learning tool moving forward. You're right next to the board, so if anything happens, you're two on. Oh, down there, I know. And I was doing this. <laughs> I got one in the clock. Yeah. I was in a little deep there. I'll admit that. As you play longer and you know you get some more experience, I think you learn how to be a pro because it is a skill. And you know I think that's what people don't know is that you know it's not easy you know to do this every day. And you know that's a huge part of it. As as you get older, you you learn to do that kind of stuff, and I think that's important. Go, Bernie. One of the reasons the young Riley has continued to impress is that his undeniable skill is matched by his unavoidable enthusiasm and positivity. Oh yeah! You know, I think we have a great group of guys and, you know, we're able to have, have some laughs after practice and I think that's important, it, you know, keeps things positive and, um, I know we've got a great leadership group and, um, you know, I think that's a, that's a huge part of why everybody loves playing here.